friends and family, this is Megan Boat, aka Tall the Big Sarem. Have you done that since? I've been thinking a lot about the Korean language these days because I do EBS on Wednesdays with Sun Hyun Woo. We're constantly talking about lots of language things. He brought up a point, I think. I don't remember who brought it up, but we got on the topic of words that we need to have in English that we don't have in Korean. So let's move right into it. The first one he brought up, and I never thought about it, but we don't have a word in English that means I don't know. We just kind of say, I don't know. We have a word to know, no, right? But we don't have a word that means the opposite of that. And I was like, oh, in Korean they have a word, 모르다. 모르다 means I don't know. And I realized that too, in English, we have a lot of words, but we don't have specific words. In a lot of cases, to say certain ideas, we just explain it. So in Korean, to know, 알다. To not know, 모르다. And another really good word that's used a lot in Korean is called 생기다. So like that word is literally like to look or to be formed or like to be made. You can use it in so many different ways. For example, you're in an area maybe you haven't been in in the past couple months and then there's a new building there. You can be like, oh, when did this building 생겼어? Like when did this building come up? <laughs> Same thing if you got a boyfriend. It's like, oh, I got a boyfriend. It's like, ah, 남자친구 means boyfriend. 남자친구 생겼어. He came. He was made <laughs> out of nowhere. Whatever came up. Like, 약속. Like, suddenly, suddenly now you got some work that came. Your work. 생겼어. It came up. So literally, if something appeared somewhere or came up somewhere, and I don't know whatever verb, should go, I always just say 생겼어. And it literally is usually always right. And a very interesting thing is they use that to say that someone is handsome too. So 잘 means good, so 잘 생겼어. Yeah, let's say you don't have money. Money is 돈, 돈. So let's say I owe you money and then you're like, when you gonna pay me back? And I'm like, oh, 돈 생기면 like when the money appears or when I get the money, right? It's just a word you can use for anything that appears or looks like something else. It's a really convenient word. I feel like we should have a word like that. And there's another really good word and that is 시원하다. 시원하다. And literally it has so many different meanings, can be used in so many different ways, but the concept of that word is what I wish we had in English. So if you get a massage, right, and you're like, oh, oh, what do you, what do you, express in English to say that you enjoy the massage. You're just like, oh, oh, it feels so good. You have to say like four words. Oh, this feels great. Like we don't have one word that describes the feeling of just, oh, right? And in Korean that is, 시원하다. So you'd be like, if you're getting a massage, you're like, oh, 시원해. Like this feeling is great. Like you like it. Like all of that is summed up in one word, which is awesome. And not only does it mean that, it also can mean when the weather is cool, you know? The weather is cool, if you want a cool drink, you can also be like, like I want a, a cold one. Whenever you just have this good feeling, like if justice was served, then you can be like, ah, you know, like there's this huge weight lifted off of my chest, ah, or if you had a bunch of stress and that stress is gone now, it's like, ah, like you feel good, you feel at ease. It is just a fantastic word I wish we had. So if you like this video and like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, it was down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, like me on Facebook, and I will see ya.